miserable conditions, huh? Yeah, that's a tough night to play. I think on both sides, you could see it um, from the very beginning of the game. It was going to be tough, and then um, it only got worse as the night went on weather-wise. But um, it was that way for both teams. They did a little bit more with their opportunities. But I think tonight, by evidence of the walks on both sides, you could tell it was hard for the pitchers to control the ball and obviously tough, tough to find hits. The best laid plans, I know you go into a game with it with intent. How quickly are you able to decide how that first inning is going that, hey, yeah. today's got to shift? Up? Well, the 40-plus pitches in one inning on any given night is a problem. Um, on tonight, it was even more of a problem. So it just it wasn't going to be a... Um, a night we could extend Tyler. He's somebody that we haven't even extended that far. I think he threw almost, what, 70 pitches his last outing. So um, I pulled him down underneath after the inning. I know he would go back out there. I know he wanted to go back out there. Took it out of his hands just from the time of the year where we are, what we've gone through this week rotation-wise, um, and just trying to be the smartest, you know, the smartest decision. So at that point, you know, the game kind of dictated itself as the as – the, the pitching had to be used. Um, thought we were going to get a little bit more out of Ronnie. He cracks his nail, so that created another mess for us. So um, I am proud of the guys that th- threw tonight. I mean, everybody. Um, you know, Ronnie didn't get a chance to finish his outing, but each guy that came in, you know, did a nice job of keeping us in the game, and and that was a winnable game. AJ, there were a couple of fielding snafus. I mean, the one in the first mm-hmm. when they could have gotten out, when you could have gotten out, gotten out of it, and as well at first base. Do you attribute that probably to the wind and just the... A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think you can find a reason why that happens. I mean, when the ball went up in the first, Tuck, from our angle, you could tell he was in trouble. You know, Candy didn't leave his spot at third. Torque came across. You know, Tyler, pitchers are taught to kind of stay out of the play. Um, And it just turned into a mess. Their guys did a good job of running. I think Rizzo was at second. He kept running, so they got the second run in. Uh, but it's a play that should be made regardless of the elements. It, it was an unfortunate timing and um, not a ton of communication at that time. But uh, those plays are going to happen, and, and you know we were able to overcome it, get out of it. Second inning wasn't a ton better when Ronnie cracks his nail, throws the ball to their dugout, and they're able to advance. Um, and then Hicks did a good job with the sack fly. So um, you know it's hard when you know three of their runs were scored on – they were walks um, originally to get on base – we walked just as many times, just didn't didn't push him across. AJ, what can you say about the crack nail that Ronnie has? Is that going to keep him out for a while? Uh, maybe not. We'll see how it is. There was no bleeding, which is a good sign. He's had this before. I think he had it in 19, Doug told me. Um, and he was able to pitch a couple days later. So we'll see how it is in the morning. But the fact there was no blood, it didn't crack through all the way. I'm not an expert on crack nails, but that's apparently a good sign. So we'll see how he is tomorrow. But I, I don't know how long he'd be out. And then for the at-bats against Garrett Cole in the second, just what did you yeah. like about, about those? And what did you see from him, too? Well, we had the advantage of, of, of a long inning. Um, and then we were pretty disciplined. I mean, those are tough at-bats, tough elements for him to throw strikes, tough elements for us to, to conduct those at-bats. I thought Willie's at-bat was really good. Uh, we just kept drawing walks against him and making him throw a ton of pitches. I think he had 40-plus pitches in that inning, and they ended up taking him out. So it was kind of a mess on both sides from a command standpoint. But our bats were pretty tough, and, and you know we just lacked that one big hit in a couple of different instances. What have you seen from Jammer and his at-bats, and do you think that single in the seventh could be maybe the start? Of yeah, the well, he's just been a slow start for him. That's obvious. But um, I think teams are spinning him, and then he's chased the high fastball, and those are, those are tough combos to start the year. I have no, no, no lack of confidence in him. He's going to keep gonna getting run out there. Um, I do hope he's one swing or two swings away from, from gaining a little bit of momentum. But... Controlling the strike zone would be the, the biggest adjustment. It's easier said than done. It's certainly easy from my seat compared to the batter's box. Um, but I think he would even tell you that um, he's swinging at a few too many pitches to, to control the strike zone, control the at-bat. Um, line drive never hurts. That's going to help him um, and we'll, you know, hopefully get in the strike zone tomorrow. Did you think about moving him down just to maybe get a, a little less pressure? No, there's no pressure. I mean, there's pressure in every, every time you get up to bat at this level.